The um, challenge then I set for us is that we work together to create a Chem 2070 this year based on last year's Chem 2070. Uh, of course, that it's, it's equal, and in, in, in many places, it's superior. Last year's version of the course uh, was taught with the, uh, these undergraduate lecture TAs. And um, the undergraduate lecture TAs, um, many of them have come stayed on for this year. The undergraduate lecture TAs are absolutely a vital, important, uh, important part, part of the course. And I was trying to think about how I could best express to you uh, how special the undergraduate uh, lecture TAs are. And I came up with the following uh, uh, way to tell you. Um, every year I write dozens and dozens of uh, uh, recommendation letters for graduate school, for uh, veterinary school, for medical school. I write around 20 uh, letters for for medical school and medical school schools and vet schools and grad schools are all pretty much just started now and I was looking over this picture of last year's students and uh, and I realized uh, the following that every student uh, from the undergraduate TAs that I wrote letters for for medical school or vet school or grad school they all got in all the med school student applications were successful. And this is a testament to what a remarkable group uh, of students the undergraduate lecture TAs are. Uh, you're going to want to get to know your lecture TAs well. And um, my advice to you is to model your behavior on them because they are students who completely have figured, are completely figured out how to navigate the undergrad undergraduate years at Cornell. Okay, so uh, what else? Yes, do you guys cringe when you see this picture of uh, last year's class? I mean, just the 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 uh, microfauna contamination going on in that picture is stunning. And the uh, insouciance of it in, in, uh, uh, it, uh, that the students are exhibiting. Everyone's having a good time. So uh, for this year's picture, it's not it didn't look like this. This year's picture of the uh, of the lecture TAs uh, looks like this. That's a little forbidding. Um, you'll be t working with them in smaller groups, and uh, you'll be working in Zoom settings that look like this in this course. And uh, this was a, a, from a, a, a little meeting I had between uh, meet and greet sessions while we were trying to uh, optimize our meet and greet uh, uh, conversations with you yesterday. And, and I think you can see that this is a place where you can have human interactions with fellow students and with your undergraduate TAs. There are two absolutely important other players in Chem 2070. The first is Dr. Cynthia Kinsland, who is in charge of and who runs with the graduate student TAs, the lab portion of Chem 2070. Uh, Dr. Kinsland uh, wants me to tell you that everyone needs to enroll in the lab portion of Chem 2070. Enroll today, enroll as soon as possible. Okay, other things that she wants you to know right now, uh, lots of the questions that you might have. Labs do not start until Wednesday of next week. Uh, good. And uh, lab room assignments, uh, we're still working it out. Uh, Dr. Kinsel is still working it out. And they will be posted probably the day before lab start, September, 9th, uh, September 8th, but uh, you'll be able to get your room assignment. Uh, all online students will not have time conflicts. Uh, they will arrange meetings for you that, that will, will work for you. Uh, okay. And finally, uh, if you need to change or add enrollment, at this point you're going to have to go through the wait list. The wait list uh, site is there. Um, I am posting this, this PowerPoint after the lecture, and you can get all the information you need um, uh, f uh, from that PowerPoint. So you don't have to copy this now. The last major player of the course is Dr. Brandon Bogut, 
who teaches a service course, Chem 107, for Chem 2070. And um, this course has uh, uh, three main resources, which uh, Dr. Bogus wants me to share with you. The first is there is a pre-recorded review lecture given every week. There are live classes at fixed times, four times a week, where students solve problems together, uh, 75 minutes long. Uh, there are extensive uh, drop-in office hours uh, where you can come in and ask individual questions that you might have. And most importantly, you do not have to be enrolled in CHEM 107 to use any of these opportunities. Uh, just get in, uh, enroll into the 107 uh, Canvas site, but you don't have to be enrolled through Student Center. The particulars for the course are given in this slide, uh, 107 are given here. And uh, as I said, I'm posting this, uh, the, this PowerPoint so you can get all your information directly from the posted version. Um, so that's the group of, of, of characters who are gonna teach the course. The uh, uh, Dr. Kinsland, Dr. Bogut's me, and most importantly, uh, the undergraduate lecture TAs.